Hello everyone, in this demo I am going to show you how to work with your file upload control. It's very simple. Let me drag and drop file upload control on the page and take a button. Now whenever I click the button, I want the file that I have selected to be saved in E colon. So it's very simple. I can simply go for button 1, uh, click event and I'll say file upload one dot save as file name the name I should give the path first I'll say it should go to e colon then plus the name of the file should be same as whatever I have selected in file upload control so I'll say file upload one dot the property I can use file name so I'm trying to store it in this location with the name of the file same as whatever I have selected I'll save this and I can execute this Now I'll select a file, so let me select the text file from the desktop and I'll say open and I'll click the button. So this file sh should have saved in my e colon folder. I'll just go back to my e colon folder. So here is that file which is saved right away. Fine. But in our real time application, we are not going to work with the local drive. I want to work with the folder in which I am working or in the project where I am working. So what is it I will do? I will just right click and I will say add new folder and I will name it as files. So all my files will be saved in this folder. Now my project currently is in e colon. I cannot give the complete path saying that e colon slash my project slash so and so. Because in my runtime or real time scenario, I may take my project to c colon, d colon, f colon or wherever I want. So it, what is that it should do? It should do that it should track the path dynamically. That means it should get the path at runtime. To get the path of this folder at runtime, I need to go for server class. So it's very simple. I'll say string path. I'm going to store it in the path. I, I'll say server dot map path. It is going to map the path of the current folder with the server wherever it it would be, whether it is on uh, live servers at www dot uh, trainer dot com or anything wherever it may be. It is going to track the exact path of the hard drive. So what is that I'll do? I'll just give tilt that is nothing but in the current directory. I want to look for this folder. Its name is files slash slash so it is going to give me the path at runtime it is going to get the path of this from scratch so instead of using this I'll just say path plus file name now what is that I can do if I run this program and if I save the file it is going to reflect in my file folder it will be available in this folder so I'll just execute this Now I'll select the same text file, open and click the button and you should find that file in our files folder. I'll just refresh this so I get the file. If I want to restrict few file extension, it's very simple. I need to get the file extension of the file whatever I'm uploading. So how do I get it? I can get it in a string. I'll say string ext extension. I can get it from system.io. Path dot get extension. From here you can get all the things. You can get file name, you can get full path, everything. But I want the extension. You can get the directory name from where I'm getting the file and all those things. So what I want is I want the extension. So path is nothing but file upload one dot file name. It is going to get me the extension in ext. Now I'll check if ext is equals to dot txt that means i want to save only text files other files are not allowed in this and if it is an other file i'll say else 
I'll just display a message saying that response dot write only dot txt files are allowed. I'll run this. Now I'll just go for uploading another file. I'm trying to upload doc file and it says submit. It says that only txt files are allowed. If I go for uploading another text file, same thing I'll just select, I'll say open and click the button, this file gets uploaded. So it's very simple. I can work out with this. Refresh and delete this. And if I proceed once again, now it should not allow me the doc file. So open and say submit to say only text files are allowed. If I try to upload the text file, it should take me to that folder and I should see that file got uploaded. Here I get the file. So that's it. This is all about your file upload control. Thank you very much.